Have you written a manuscript, but you don't know how to format it and you just need that one step to formatting before you can publish it on Amazon KDP, or you just want to go ahead and format it to sell it on something like a stand store. This video is for you, but also if you are looking to start writing your book and you want to maybe create a team or have some kind of team that can help you edit the book, format it, or maybe create some illustrations and you don't really want to use all that AI stuff, you've come to the right video. This video is for you. I'm going to show you the number one tool that you can use for formatting, which is free. And if you want to get started and write your manuscript or you already have one, but you want to have someone edit it for you, you don't need Fiverr and you don't need Grammarly. You need this one tool. Let's get started. So this platform that you're looking at, it's called ReadSy, and you can do two things here. You can create a book and you could go in there and write out your book. Or if you have already written your manuscript on, let's say a Microsoft Word document, you can go ahead and import it as you can see here. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one right here. It's called homeschooling. And when I go in here and I actually did a little, uh, uh, I just tested it out um, before actually pressing record. Um, I just wanted to see what, what happens. I'm going to show you the action in just a second. I wrote just nonsense words, right? And then I go ahead and click here where it says goals and insights on the top right hand corner. And when I clicked on it, I was like, wait a second, it recorded the word count and uh, for the day, for example, this day I did 11, <laughs> I wrote 11 words, right? But then if I scroll down, I have a manuscript goal. So let's say you're in the process of writing your book. This is excellent because now you have, it's, it's not, now you have a visual as to, okay, I want to write a, let's say a 30,000 word book. And now you have to make sure that every single day or maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you are actually clocking in time because now you can see it actually flesh out. Okay. I've written 10,000 words. I've written 5,000 words. I've written 3000 words. So it's, it, it, this is such a cool tool and I wish I would have had this before when I was actually working on other people's manuscripts or even my own. So I think this is pretty neat. Now, some of these features are uh, premium, I believe, but for the most part, most of them are for free. So I would have to check a little bit further, maybe even write it on the notes when I find out what's premium and what's free. Now, let's get down to what I believe is very important if you want to go ahead and format your book or if you're in the process of writing your manuscript, here you have where it says here, copyright. There is always a copyright page or a copyright section within a book. In this case, right here, you can write your author name or you can use a pen name if you don't, you know, you just want to uh, not tell the world that it's you. And then all you do is leave this on the all rights reserved. You need that. And then you can read through these right here where it says fiction. This novel is entirely a work of fiction. Make If you want to go ahead and add that to it. So let's say, for example, I am done with this section. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as it is, right? So I already filled it out. Now for the table of contents, there are, there is nothing written. Like I don't have anything written here. So I don't think any of the chapters will appear. Any of the headings will appear, which is why this is happening. There's nothing there. Um, and then you have the body of here where it says body. You have the body of the, the interior pages of the book, the chapters. You have, if I click on chapter one, it's going to the page where I have the nonsense words, right? And as I wrote, as you continue to write, it's going to automatically format the uh, paragraphs for you. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to continue to add chapters, all you have to do is go ahead and go here on top where it says manuscript. You click on this button, that, that plus button, and it says new chapter or new part, a new part within your chapter or just a new chapter, which is pretty neat. If I click on new chapter, it just added chapter number two. And if I just continue to do that, it will add as many chapters as I want, which is what it seems like it's doing. So now I think that's pretty neat, especially if you want to go ahead and 
you're ready. You, you want to go ahead and write your book. You want to have it formatted and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg. This is perfect. Now, let me show you something. I'm going to go ahead and click on here. This one, this book right here, this is actually a manuscript that I had written a long time ago, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Let's say that you finish your manuscript. You are done. You are ready to export this file um, to go ahead and publish it on Amazon KDP or on your online store. Then what you do is you go ahead and click here on the right hand side where it says export book. You go ahead and click on that. It's going to take you to the section where it will do the exporting for you. So let me go ahead and just scroll down so that you can see this Ritzy, pay attention, Ritzy will format the book for you that you've written. It will convert it into a PDF file or an EPUB file. What is an EPUB file? That is the file. Think of Kindle, like a Kindle ebook. It's a digital book. So this EPUB is when, when this is actually, when you actually download it as an EPUB, the file and it's already exported the file is ready for you to upload it on amazon kdp as an ebook if you do print ready pdf that is the paperback version of the book so you have basically you have it's gonna it's gonna convert it into the paperback file and the ebook file which is pretty cool and then i saw that there are extra like um, customizations it says book cover you can edit your book cover settings in here um formatting options uh, high chapter numbers or drop caps at the start of uh, of a chapter so i think that was pretty neat um and overall you can go ahead and choose the template for example let's say i'm gonna go ahead and, and click off of it and click classic crimson and you'll notice how it just changes the feel of the chapter heading and the the actual uh, text within that uh, piece of chapter and then you have number three is romance crimson and you have that and you have like that cursive uh, writing so i think that's pretty neat now i'm going to show you something that is extremely cool and i wish i would have known of this before and it's that read see also there's another side to read see i'm going to go ahead and click on where it says apps and if you notice here, they have other things that they offer. I'm going to go ahead and click on marketplace. And when you go to marketplace, it's completely free. You just have to create an account. And what you can do here, when you click on here up top on marketplace, let's say you don't want to use AI. You don't want to use AI illustrations or images or you don't want to go to Fiverr and hire a, um, a ghostwriter or an editor, or maybe even someone that can do your children's books illustrations. Well, you go here to read C and guess what? They can help you edit your book. They can help you design the cover design, illustrations, a uh, typography, book interior, publicity. It says um, that they do press coverage or a blog tour, which is kind of cool, kind of neat. I don't know the specifics on this, but it says, let me just go ahead and scroll down just a little bit. It says, Vicky L., I've worked in PR for 20 years, starting in-house at publishing houses, including Sourcebooks, Tyndale, House Publishers. So these are people that are experienced with publishing, and they can help you with things like publicity. Now we have the marketing aspect. Here you can find people, uh, professionals that have been in the business, and they can help you for maybe an affordable uh, price. And from what I what I saw, and I forgot where I saw it, but when I was I was I was doing some research, I saw that you can go ahead and um, maybe request a quote from you know a couple of the professionals that you see here that might interest you, and just find out who's willing to work with your budget. Um, here, translation maybe uh, to translate a book from like like it says here from English to German. You have ghostwriters. You can create an entire team for your book project and maybe at an affordable price. But look at this. I want to show you this because I think this is very important. Remember, when you go to Amazon, um, usually we all do this. We buy products and when we buy products, well, before we buy products, we look at what? We look at the reviews. Here, as you can see, it says, give your book the exposure it deserves. It says, submit your book to our reviewers for $50 and gain exposure to thousands of readers in your genre. I think this is a great way to get actual real feedback. 
and you get people reviewing your book and providing you with reviews that I think this right here is what can actually make a difference when you want to sell your book, especially on a platform like Amazon and you want to go ahead and publish your book through Amazon KDP, you need reviews at least 20. Um, I, I would aim for at least 20, but I think this is, this is an all a one stop shop to all the things that you will would need. It even has a uh, website designers who can help you with a, maybe like an author website. I, I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel that uh, we all have a book project that we want to launch. We all have ideas that we want to publish into the world. And sometimes we don't, we don't do it because either we don't know what to do or we don't know the tools that we need that would be that would best serve us for that project that we want to go ahead and launch into the world. So I think that in this case, I think this is a great platform that you should explore, even if you're just an aspiring author and you haven't even started writing your book. You don't even know what you want to write yet. Start exploring, start, you know, talking to people, start um, reaching out to these professionals. Maybe they can give you some kind of guidance as to, especially if you want to write a novel or something like that, they can probably like a novelist can actually give you some good advice as to the direction that you can take, especially when, you know, if you're embarking on the journey of writing a novel or a children's book and you can go ahead and explore, it says developmental editing. If you want to further develop your editing, I mean, sorry, your book, um, you have a de developmental editing, I'm pretty sure expert that can help you develop your ideas and maybe um, character development and things like that. So, and they even have co book coaching, which is great. That being said, this platform can really help you bring that book that desire to be an author to life. As always, I hope that this information was helpful to you on your self-publishing journey, that it actually encourages you to take that leap forward. Stop waiting, stop putting that writing process to the side and just do it. Start writing, start editing, start formatting. As you see, it was it's free and get your book out there to the world. I will see you on the next video. God bless.